looking guys and this time we will be unbagging August yes oh yes oh yes oh yes excuse me um but I had already undone the sticky only because my daughter help was playing with it so first I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the card in here and today oh it looks like a postcard it says Callie love Yes, oh yes, August 2018. Oh, what on earth? I'm sorry. And of course, on the back, it has the list of the products you get this month. And we're going to go ahead and go in order. Um, first one here is the. I get it out. Everything's kind of just hooked in here. Oh my gosh, I just pulled more than what I should have pulled out. But the Cali Creations, Beauty Creations Cali Set Palette. Why do they have that all worded backwards? But this palette here retails for $28. And it comes like that. Slide it on out. And I believe that's the plastic. Oh. And there you go here. My lighting is getting bad because it is getting dark out. Let me remove the plastic piece because you cannot see with that glare. There we go. And let me grab some swatches. I see. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this going. Oh, wow. I'm really liking cocktail. Mm. Let me see if I can do it again. Alright, this is cocktail. It's more of a white pigment, probably more or less um, brow highlight. It's short, sort of a matte. Probably something you could do as undertone or set in your liner. And I'm going to go from top left to right, middle left to right. The next is Calabasas. I'm going to try to make the swatch. Ooh, pretty. That is Calabasas. There we go. She is very shimmery. Mama like. Next is a Valley Girl. Oh, wait. She did not swatch very well. Let's try that again. Okay. So I noticed this color right here, which is Valley Girl, which I was kind of excited about this color. But it is a little patchy and did not swatch as dark as I was hoping it was going to do. Next is Hollywood. And this is another shimmery shade. And oh my goodness. Check that out. Oh gosh, look at that. You could possibly use that. That'd be like the best. And it's kind of like, it's a golden. There you go. Now you can see. Next is Dalt. DTLA, okay. I'm assuming downtown LA. Uh, I'm not from that area, so I don't know. But this is another matte shade. Hopefully this one swatches a little bit better than what you did. Right there, that's DTLA. Alright, and next is another shimmery called Sassy. Ooh, wow. Hold on. I've got them swatched weird now. Right there. That one. That's sassy. Oh, goodness. I don't have to make them. Oh, yeah, I do. Now, let me remove some of these so that way I don't get all weird. Mm. Oh, God, let me make a wipe here. Can I clean my hands? Because my fingers, I'm scared they're going to be mixing them. Okay, and Melrose, Melrose is actually a, another matte shade, ooh, no, I am lying, this has like sort of an iridescence to it, you can't really tell it, but it's more like a, a brownish, like maybe, a, a brownish with maybe a reddish undertint, and it's got, you know, iridescence in it, but like, the iridescence is more like a pinkish, it's very beautiful. And then, ooh, martini. Oh my gosh. 
That is gorgeous. Martini is like a burgundy, red, burnt, orange. I don't know. They're like very mixture. But they're really beautiful. I'm kind of really excited. All right. And Westbrook. Oh, no. Let's try that again. Westbrook, again, is one that came out a little patchy. <clears throat> But that's right there. <laughs> it makes me think of Tati. <laughs> Shout out to Tati. That's my girl. I love her videos. She is awesome. So again, guys, that was the Cali set. There we go. Hold on. Let me flip it back up. So that way you can see how I would swatched them from top left to right. And then down, you see this the mat. Here was another mat. And this is what I thought was a mat, but it's actually got the iridescence in the background. And this was the other mat, which I was kind of really excited about these two mats. But they would make a really good undertone for your eyes. I will be trying some of these out. Well, anyway, and again, guys, this retails for $28. Alright, the next product is the Sorme Blotting Paper, which retails for $12. And that are uh, these right here. It's typical packaging, nothing spectacular. I do not use blotting paper. I just don't, I guess. I just, no, not much of my thing. I just feel it's a waste of time. And most of the time, if I have them, I don't think about it. So it just kind of poof, flips, so give away. All right, and again, they're $12. Next is the La Croix and Co Cloud Lips. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. And this retails for, where am I? I lost track. This retails for $20. And here it is right here. And, of course, my lighting is starting to get bad. I don't know if you can see that. Well, anyway, let's just go ahead and take it out. And I got the shade Cherub, which it looks like a, it looks like a red on the paper. Gosh, I hope it ain't red. But, um, okay, how do you roll this thing up? Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, it's very beautiful. You can see it's like a goldish packaging. But here is the lipstick itself. And it's not that bad. Let's see. I'm always terrible at this. There we go. Let's see, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. It's actually a really beautiful color. And I cannot wait. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put some on. Forgive my bare face. I look dead zombie wise. Okay. Probably need a lip liner as far as this because I don't know if you can see. It might be my bad lighting, but I kind of like the color. <laughs> Let me stop lighting. Okay. And again, guys, this retails for $20. And I actually really like this. It might be like an everyday look. I could probably wear it for every day. Okay, the next product we have is the Crown Brush Angle Contour Brush. Why are their cards so butt backwards? And you guys, I'm, I'm, oh goodness, we're dying. And I'm not reading this backwards. Like, look at this. Crown Brush Angle Contour Brush. And it retails for $22 and is this brush right here. And it comes in its little plastic paper. Oh gosh, I hate taking them out because I feel like they're going to get ruined after you take them out. But guess what? He's out already. Oh, it's very soft, but it kind of feels rough at the same time. Oh my gosh, the handle is on point. The handle is awesome. Look, it's got the indentations for your fingers. And 
It's very boots. Okay. Try this out. I'm not going to be doing a full face of makeup, guys. I'm just going to be kind of trying out a couple things. And the next product, oh, again, $22 for that. The next product is the Masquerade Free Party Sheet Mask, which retails for $12. And that is this sheet mask right here. If you can see it. And poor the little girl with her little pink curls. And it's for brightening, prime, and energizing. And, of course, directions on back. Uh, you may be ready for a, a night of partying celebration, but is your face. Make sure you stand out from the crowd and start prepping your skin now. Create a perfect canvas for foundation application with the pre-party prep and silky lightweight blend of natural argan oil, orange peel oil, super fruit extracts, rice extract, honey to energize, hydrate, brighten, and prime your skin for a flawless and velvety smooth finish. And again, $12, guys, and it's all yours. Okay, and the total for August's Yes Oh Yes is $94. The total retail value of the whole bag slash box. <clears throat> Interruption gone. The husband have a husband was trying to get my attention on being a goof by opening and shutting the door and making noises so anyway we're gonna go ahead and make a quick little eye look with this palette here what all did I get in this bag oh my gosh okay it was the mask I'm tripping the mask oh oh my goodness anyway it was the brush where did I put all this stuff at I don't even know why I don't want it all. Okay, the lipstick, the brush, which I have no stinking clue what I've done with it. It's a freaking mess. Oh, I got it. Excuse me. All right, the brush, the mask, the lipstick, the palette. I'm going to look at this thing on car because I am tripping. Okay, the blotting paper. That's correct. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and try out the brush which is the crown angled contour brush and I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Parquet Princess which is just this right here and I'm sorry about all the fingerprints <laughs> which is just like a, a blush contour highlight duo and I'm just going to test her out a little bit Teflon I'm so just rushing by the way. I'm just kind of trying to see how it blends, how it feels, and it feels very airy and light. And guys, I do not have foundation on, so yes, Parquet Princess is kind of showing up a little as a red tone, but I promise you it's really not. I need, like, some life in my skin right now. I look so dead. And I have to say, I really do like this contour brush. Let's see. See, I am sweating. It's hotter than donkey booty in here. Oh, my gosh. All right. Brush gets A plus in my look. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to try out a couple of these shadows here just to test them out. And I'm going to just do a, a quick little thing. Hopefully you guys can see. Whoa, did y'all see that? Hold on, look. I wonder if y'all can see it. You see that? That is crazy. Look, I got to do it again. That was cool. Look, see all, how dusty that is? Well, look. Could you see it? That's really dusty. And that's the cocktail shade. Oh my gosh, I got black leggings on. I just looked down and seen all that cocktail eyeshadow down. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to kind of take this in. 
and just see what we got going on here. And yes, I'm just doing a quick look because I don't want to make this like a really super long video. Um, I'm just going to take this into the brow bone area. And yes, I'm going there quick. And I am using the um, Tampered Blending Brush by Elizabeth Mott that we actually got in the Ipsy bag two months ago. Last month? Somewhere. Anyway. And I think I am going to go into the Valley Girl, which is that one right there that was a little patchy, swatching, but I'm very, very tempted to try it. Let's see. Sorry, guys. I gotta use the smaller mirror so I can really get in there. And... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. It is very, very patchy. Um, normally matte darker shades such as this type of color. I mean, it is a very beautiful color. Don't get me wrong. I love this color. It's beautiful. Um, but most of the time darker matte, <clears throat> excuse me, darker matte shades are a little patchy. Dude. Motherfucker. 